Here they geeks and gets. I've got a massive box. It's Secret Santa time. This time? I hope? Yeah. Oh, I know this is Secret Santa because this box is actually labelled and like the last time when I dressed like an elf and it wasn't for Secret Santa. So, last year I got involved in it with the small YouTuber community. Um, we all sent a list of 10 pops to a random person. We didn't know who that person was. Um, obviously between the 12 of us and a load of pops got sorted out. Oop, somebody knows me well. Spider-Man paper. Spider-Man Christmas paper at that. Now, somebody's nicked my chair. So this is awkward. So this year's Secret Santa has been run by one Jimmy Barnes. The Mukbang King. And I've still not watched that video, Jimmy, and I never will. And basically, he took the monumental responsibility of trying to organise our small YouTube community. And when you've got the likes of Leroy Screwballs, Abigail Barry and Jason Klo, and me, trying to organise something is not going to be an easy task. So, we have Spider-Man paper. Now, in this, is supposed to be two Funko Pops. No? You put up a list of Funko Pops, those Funko Pops can have whatever value, but the person sending can only spend £20. And then if we've got extras, then we can put extras in. This does not feel like a Funko Pop or two Funko Pops. This is quite a heavy box. And obviously I've got no idea who has sent this. I just cut the paper now. Uh, the only thing I know is who I sent my box out to. Jimmy Barnes will be whirring over all these big box. Jesus. Right, I don't recognise the handwriting. But... I mean, that wrapping paper is awesome. Spider-Man in a scarf, Spider-Man in a Santa's hat. It's a shame I've had to destroy it. But they've actually taped it to the box. And they've actually covered the box in brown tape. If I didn't know better, this is somebody trying to make me swear on my Secret Santa video by making this difficult to get into. It's from the hut, the box itself is from the hut group, so that could be any one of us except Jimmy Barnes because he hates the company. This is really awkward. Oh! So, being collectors, there is packaging. Lots of packaging, because collectors know... Excuse me? Collectors know how things should be packaged, is what I'm trying to see. And whether this has got very nice writing. Packing what? What? This is packing what's it. Now there's supposed to be a card in here, as far as I know it. Be very careful. <laughs> now this says packing what's it, but it is actually Cheetos. So you have Cheetoed that. Yeah. That was shit, I know. I love Cheetos. 
there's more Cheetos. I love peanuts. I've just seen a note attached to the card. Oh, baby. My favorite peanuts. Either these Thai sweet chili or the California honey nuts are my absolute favorite. Ooh, packing balls. All right, let's get the package in out of the way first. Now, if every company on the planet packaged like this, it would be amazing. Oh, Cheetos football's cheese flavor. I don't know who this person is, but I really like you. The Bearded Geek, Not Glen Beardo, Twitch Sharter, Dale. I will shot. Sorry about the packaging peanuts, I know everyone hates them. Now this year I've actually remembered to put a card in with the Secret Santa I sent, because last year I forgot. Oh fucking hell. Have such a pretty you have such a pretty face, you should be on Christmas cards. And it is Jason Clo in my sex pool with my milfy. Mrs. Geek. Welsh accent. Hello there, geeks and geekettes. Welsh Belsh. I'm going to shit my pants this Christmas playing Phasmophobia. Oh, Twitch shattered because I did Phasmophobia on Twitch. I'm going to shit my pants this Christmas playing Phasmophobia. Get pissed and be merry. End of Welsh accent. My Welsh accent isn't that strong when you compare me to like Chinchy Gamer and. To the Beard of Geek Dale. Merry Christmas. Nadolig Clawen. Well done. Lots of love from the Albatross flock. I'm not putting that in my living room. I am not having Jason Clow with his arms around my missus in our sex pool in my living room. It's just not happening. Uh, packing what's it? They, they've literally just stuck a multi pack of Cheetos in here. Packing peanuts. Ooh. Smoky barbecue flavour coated peanuts. I've not tried them, but I absolutely love peanuts. I will eat one of those bags in one second. Packing what's it? So Albatross Pops, um, they are a new or newer addition to our Funko family. And they've sent me some amazing acts of kindness recently. Uh, they're Scarlet and Dan, and on my Twitch stream, when then pairs show up, carnage ensues. Because between those two and Jimmy Barnes and Jason Plow and Rach Kappa, they annihilate me with sound redeems. Bird's eye chili flavour. Onto a winner. And I haven't even got the box. Now we get the exciting part. And I'm already really happy because of the Cheetos and peanuts. Why do people wrap presents like this? Oh, it's in a protector. It's in a pop figures protector. It has been done on purpose, all of the tape, because this is in a protector, and they've wrapped the pop that's inside the protector. Uh, I, I can see pop games, but I'll turn that way. And you guys can get the first look. I think there's only one pop games I wanted. Oh, oh wow! This is Pop Games Marvel Avengers 628, the Primark exclusive. Primark, Primark. I don't care how you say it. It's Primark. 
Glow in the Dark Special Edition Gameverse Full. Now, uh, this is going to have its own separate unboxing video, definitely. Got the Gameverse Hulk. This, I nearly bought the standard one, and then I realised it was a Glow in the Dark one. I really wanted it, and I thought, I'm going to pay an extra for that. As we were locked down, I've been to Cardiff once since I was furloughed in March and I couldn't go shopping when I was working. That is amazing. So there are the other figures in the range. Those being Iron Man, Captain America, Hulk, Black Widow, Kamala Khan and Taskmaster. So I have two of this range. We'll sit it there. She wrapped all of these individually inside the... Ha! There's a little rip. Oh my god. These are really nice pop protectors. Pop figures ones. Now I have bought from pop figures before. But the original protectors were quite flimsy. They are nice. They don't have the stupid band doll pop on them that you can't actually stack the pops on. Really difficult to stack the pops up on their old protectors. Okay, so I've managed to open this from the bottom. <gasps> yeah! I was so tempted to buy this the other day. It was in Forbidden Planet. I picked it up. I was going to walk the till with it, and then I remembered I put it on my Secret Santa list. <sighs> now, I love Thor. Not just from the movies. Thor is my favourite Marvel character. I've got Thor figures down there. I've got Thor figures there. I've got a Thor statue over there. I've got Thor mini mates, Vinnie mates. Tiki's, Eekies. I've been known to dress up as him on occasion. So this is Brothor with a pizza slice. Now, he's readily available, but somehow I just haven't picked it up. So I put it on the Secret Santa list, because it's Tom Year. Times are hard, people can't afford shit. So it's Avengers Endgame 578 Brothor with a pizza slice. That's awesome. He's in his pyjama bottoms. I've just put mine in the wash, so... Because I actually dressed as Thor on stream yesterday. And obviously, he's got his dad bod. I can relate. He's got his beard. I can relate. And I'm not taking my hat off because my hair is a mess. Because yesterday, I streamed for 24 hours. Be careful so I don't like damage the pop. I should have known. I should have known all three. This video is going to be a ton longer than I wanted it to be. Designed to make me swear, I said at the beginning, and I have swore a lot. Once again, in a pop figures protector, I will be using them. The protectors. I will be using the protectors. Um, I'm good to you a lot when you look for me. Not the back of the box. Here's the front. <gasps> I don't know how you've got all these for £20. So, it's Pop Marvel for Ragnarok 335. Glow in the Dark 2018 Summer Convention Limited Edition Glow in the Dark. <gasps> cool. um, I have Surta to go with this. Who's not on the list? Surta's been a bad boy. He's not made the list. Um, I'm unboxing all three of these separately. I'm not. I'm not going to do them in this video. The they are pops I have wanted for my collection. These are... Great. 
grails. These are grails. Pizza Slice probably not a grail because he's readily available, but I don't think this is easy to get hold of. I've not seen this in hand. I don't know how easy it is to get the pre-mark exclusive. Pre-mark point I don't know which way I say it now. There's the front of the box. Side art. The other figures in the range. Side window, top of the box. You're boring shit. So he's glow in the dark, obviously his eyes and the thunderbolts on his arms from one of the best of the Marvel movies. I showed that one. I didn't show the rest of the range in this one. Now I have the Bro Thor. Is it call him Bro Thor? Oh, it's calling Thor. In his red dressing gown and blue hoodie. A look I could get into. I think that's it from the range. Oh, I have Korg. And I have Thanos in the garden. Last exclusives. I have Captain America. Alright, I've got mo more of this collection than I realised. Um, but Thor is, is the big one for me. My favourite character. Scarlet and Dan, you have outdone yourselves with these gifts. I've just cleaned this room. Um, food. I'm broke up. I'm really, really happy with that. I'm actually ecstatic. I mean, that 2018 one, I've had my eye on that for quite some time. And it does... Fill, it does fill a massive gap in my Thor collection. Because all of my Thor pops are coming out of this section. I'm going to put another shelf up somewhere with my Thor statue and all my other Thor stuff. All of the other channels links will be in the description down below. Please check out all of them because this group is awesome. Um, they are such nice, kind people. Some of the gifts I have had from this group, some of the bargains I've had from stuff I've purchased, brilliant. I'm hoping we've all got the same thumbnail, So, but we will link everybody's channels and everybody's videos. Please go and check all of those videos out, subscribe to all of those channels and also comment on all of the videos because we as YouTubers, we love to interact with people who watch our videos. We like to know that you're watching them and that you're enjoying them. So, Scott and Dan, thank you very much. That was an absolute nightmare to open, but I appreciate it. I'm really, really happy. I have been a bearded geek. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe to the video as it really helps me. Hit that notification bell because that does something that I don't pay any attention to, really, meh. From the bearded geek and Mrs. Geek, who's a bit camera shy, Merry Christmas. Goodbye. Woohoo! Fucking hell. I'm just gonna fucking take out everything here.